as you learned last week, reflective is not about dwelling. Reflective is about taking objective looks at your life and learning from those and moving forward through growth and change. If you're looking at your worksheet, that is exactly what this is designed to do. You are going to probably spend a lot of time printing this one out multiple times. The reason is, is because I want you to do this exercise every single week. I want you to look at this form and say to yourself, what did I successfully do this week? And the reason I want you to ask yourself why is because that is where the intention comes in. You're going to hear me use this word a lot because if you are not intentional and you are not present in what you are doing, then you don't learn anything from it. So from this, you are going to look at your wins and say, wow, what was that? What was that win and why did it happen? Now the next one would be challenges. I didn't want to use the word failure or losses here because in my opinion, nothing really is that. Yes, I have lost gains. I have lost job opportunities and things like that in my past, but the, that was put in my life for a reason and I needed to objectively look at it, taking the emotion out because you've gotten resilient about it, taking the emotion out and saying, what did I learn about myself from that? Maybe it's that you need to prepare more, which we'll cover in a minute. But that is a really, really important lesson. So the things that you do well and the things that you didn't do as well or things that challenged you, on a weekly basis, make sure that you're looking at these things and really saying to yourself, what did I win? What did I lose? And how did that shape me? So from those you are going to come up with a series of answers at the bottom, which are what am I going to start doing because you've had some sort of an epiphany? What am I going to stop doing because you had some sort of epiphany? And what am I going to continue to do because clearly I was successful and I want to continue to do that? This seems very straightforward, but this I believe the first few weeks that you do this will be a little more intense especially if you're someone who's never been reflective. If you've never looked inward and said, what can I do to better myself? Then this might be a little more difficult for you. But really take this seriously. And again, don't get caught up in beating yourself up. This is an exercise to grow and learn and to kind of pat yourself on the back. Because even if you lost, by the end of this, you've got an action item of the things you're going to start, stop, and continue. I am nothing unless I'm prepared. This has served me well and actually against me when I haven't been prepared so many different times in my life. Graduate school was one of them. I had several people in my class that would say, you were one of the smartest people in class. No, I wasn't. I was prepared. I read every single thing before class. I did every single homework assignment, and in our financial classes, I went to office hours and got more work because I wasn't fully understanding the concepts, and I know that I needed to be prepared. I feel like if you are not prepared, then you are just walking into a situation blind. Why would you do that when you can prepare for any situation? I want to let you in on something that I do on Sunday nights. Now, just because I do it on Sunday does not mean that that's what you have to do. Whatever day of the week fits you, and guess what? If you get to a middle of the week and you're like, oh, I didn't prepare, do it right then. Do it on a Wednesday. Do it on a Friday. There's no wrong time to prepare. So if you're looking at your worksheet right now, what you will see are a series of statements. They're not really questions. They're statements. And what I want to start with there is the three main things you want to accomplish in the week. Why did I pick three? I'm a huge fan of three. I find that everything in my life happens in threes. And during a week, we always underestimate what we can do in a decade, but we overestimate what we can do in a week. So when you focus on three things, you are going to nail those things because you focused on them. 
I want you to put out intention. That is exactly what this exercise is, is putting intention. The next statement you see is, this week I will bring blank to my week. Now, you're probably like, what does that mean? What is something you struggle with? Let's put it out there. Be intentional about it. This week I will bring focus. For me, when I focus, magic happens. So I'm going to bring focus to my week. Maybe you're going to bring commitment to your week because you are just terrible at committing to things. Maybe you're not thorough. So this week you're going to bring thoroughness to your week. Maybe you struggle with having a good attitude. So this week you're going to bring happiness. You're going to bring positivity. There is no wrong answer here. But what I want you to focus on is, again, the power of intention. The next question that you see is, I will prepare mentally by. What I mean here is, what are you going to do from, maybe you need a presentation and you need to prepare for that presentation. Maybe you need to read up on certain things to make sure that you were mentally prepared for the week. This is different from the intention. So the first two questions are more intentional. And this one is more, how am I bringing my A game and reading up on an interview I'm going to do, learning a subject before I present it. There's lots of different things that this question could actually evoke for you. But it's very, very, very important. And the bottom of this form is exactly what I talked about earlier this week, which is where things start overlapping. If you are a prepared person, it means that you are also going to schedule your physical life. And physical things are obviously your fitness. So I carried down what you'd already written down on your active worksheet. And then I also carried down what you have on your fuel worksheet. Because that is how you are going to prepare physically. Do those things now and you will.